Hey guys, how's it going? Tubu Cruise here with Tundes. Tunchan. And today we're going for a nice little ride around our local neighborhood here in Japan. So a nice little cycling vlog. And today we're actually testing out our new camera. Kore wa nano camera desu ka? GoPro 8. GoPro 8. 8. Mai no camera wa? GoPro 6 desu. 6. Sono mai no camera wa? 5 desu. Chigao. Zon desu. 4. So this is our third GoPro. We've gone from a GoPro 4 to a GoPro 6 Black last year. And this year we got a new upgrade, the GoPro Hero 8 Black. I'm really excited about this upgrade because I hear the image stabilization is great. So we're gonna do our first test ride with the new camera today. I wanna say a special thank you to all of our supporters over on Patreon who help us buy things like this that we can invest in the channel. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato gozaimashita. And today we're gonna enjoy our new camera and ride around our local neighborhood in Japan. So come along and join on for our nice little adventure ride. So we're just gonna do a nice little loop of nearby where we live and show you guys and talk about some of the interesting things that are here. So let's get started with the ride. Hajimimashou. Igo. Igo. <laughs> it's starting to get a little bit cold here in Japan. So today I'm riding my mountain bike and Tuan-chan's on her mama chari. Mi-chan. Mi-chan. Sashiburi. <laughs> All right, let's get going. So we've got our nice fall leaves right now. And this uh, road right up here is actually a maglev. So we've got a nice maglev train system here. So maglevs are pretty rare in not only Japan, but in the rest of the world, I guess. And we're fortunate enough to have one of them locally here. So we're cycling along. This road is called the Higashiyama Dori. It goes pretty much all the way down to Nagoya Station, which is the main station of the city we live in. And once you get out to the outskirts of the city, which is where we are, we're actually in Nagakute, which is a city east of Nagoya. It turns into what's called the Green Road. And in this section, it's actually pretty nice because you can see there's a walking section and a cycling section. Not that anyone follows those rules and you can see there's a bunch of bikes here. This is a big shopping mall chain, Apita. And there's a bunch of bike parking. That's one of the great things about Japan. There's bike parking everywhere. So we do our grocery shopping here quite often. So we'll come up this nice little ramp and then we'll park our bikes in here. And you can see there's no real rules with the parking here. You just kind of park wherever there's a space and you'll see there's lots of different Mama Chari bikes like Tuong's bike, all different colors, all different varieties. And I get a couple questions on this channel about e-bikes and you can see there's definitely a bunch of e-bikes here. Mostly with Mama Chari's you can see over here we've got an e-bike here, we've got another e-bike here. So e-bikes are pretty popular here in Japan but it's mostly just for like city bikes kind of like that. Anyway, we're not going to go shopping right now. We want to finish our ride. Watch out for cars. That's one of the dangerous things and annoying things about the cars in Japan is when they go to turn is they sort of encroach a little bit in it and you start to think that they're actually going to turn, but they don't. The way, the reason they do that is because they don't want to block the people behind them. So they do it out of courtesy but it actually makes you really nervous if you're riding a bike because you're not sure if they're actually going to turn or if they're going to stop. What are they going to do? Over here is actually a manga cafe, so you can go read your Japanese comic books there. And right next to it, we got some karaoke. We've got pretty much everything that we could want nearby where we live, which is really nice and convenient. This is a cheap bicycle store. They got a bunch of different mama cherries, stuff like that. And there we go. There's the typical bike scene that you see in Japan with the kit on the back and a bunch of different groceries and bags up in the front. So you see lots of people with bikes like that here. Oh man, that car just totally cut her off too. Really dangerous. And that lady's uh, just dangerous ride today. We're, it's actually a weekday today. Chung and I both have the day off because we have a Daikyu system. So if we work the weekend, we'll get a, a weekday off. So we're enjoying a nice little break today, but 
it's kind of the end of the day right now and ah, there goes the maglev we're gonna hop off to a more peaceful path here so we can avoid all the rush hour commuters this is a nice little secret path there's all these nice little surprises around here that you find when you're exploring when i first moved here to japan about four or five years ago now I, I always loved going around for little walks and exploring all the little subtle things around here and with cycling you can do sort of the same thing but the more serious you get with cycling the less exploring you do I find which is a bit unfortunate and I kind of got into that unfortunate cycle where I would just focus mainly on doing these long hard rides and I didn't really take the time to go slowly and explore but if you go slowly and explore Check out what you can find. Little red riding hood. There's all these different cool little things here along the path. A couple years ago when Pokemon Go was released. So yeah, I'm gonna admit on the channel I'm a bit of a nerd. I'm sure most of you guys know already. And yeah, Pokemon Go was released and I just became addicted. I stopped riding completely and I was all about Pokemon Go. And there's a bunch of Poke stops along this route. So I would come here pretty much every night after work. Oh man, this one's gonna get this channel flagged for inappropriate content, but I gotta show you the Momotaro. <laughs> so that's the superpower baby that was born out of a, a plum. I actually went to the Momotaro Jinja, so the shrine for this guy, and there's a giant statue with him, and me and my Italian friend Jess went there and checked it out, so you should check that video out on the channel. It's a fun one. I'll link the video up above. So how's the new GoPro so far, guys? All the commuting videos that you've seen pretty much up until this point for the last year have all been on the GoPro Hero 6. So a lot of people comment on the quality saying it's really great. And I think that's pretty funny because most of the other people out there were using the Hero 7. I didn't have anything quite that nice. And I hear the upgrade from the 7 or from the 6 to the 7 is already really big. And the jump to the 8 is supposed to also be pretty big as well. So from the 6 to the 8, I'm really excited to check out this footage later on the computer unfortunately this is just strapped onto me right now with the chest mount so i have no idea how this is going to look but crossing my fingers and hoping this is going to turn out nice but beautiful scenery right now all the red leaves and fall colors autumn colors i'll be uploading a bunch of videos fall ride videos as much as i can film oh sorry nani Kaki. So all the kaki trees, I'm not even sure what those are called in English, but really yummy fruit. Oishii ne. Kaki. I love kaki, I love crews. Oh, kyo yasashii ne. Here we are at a main road. They've also got a cute little stop sign here for all the kids. Make sure that you stop before you cross. And this car is waiting for us, thank you. It's one of the things I, I don't know if I miss this or if I don't miss this actually. This is kind of uh, a little bit of both, is raking leaves. <laughs> I'd, I kind of miss it to the point where like where I'd like to do it like just once, but I feel like if I did it uh, a couple times, like every day, it'd get pretty tiring pretty fast. So. That's kind of something I haven't had to do in a long time because I don't have a yard or have to worry about maintaining a property or anything like that right now. Let's go down these bumps, see how the GoPro handles that. How is that? And oh, there's a nice little temple over here. Let's go check that out. This is Komira Kohi, so a nice little coffee shop. There's a bunch of coffee shops all over Japan and this is a pretty popular chain. Omeda. Chun Chan and I don't really go there that often. And right here also is called a Koban. So that's where the police hang out. You can see we got the police cars and the Koban. I'm not going to ride up to them because I don't want to think I'm this like creepy foreigner guy who's taking pictures and video of police. But anyway, right in here, we've got a nice little shrine. Let's check this out. I've actually, I think I've only stopped here like once or twice and you don't want to ride your bike in here because that'll be a bit impolite but we can park our bike off to the side i think 
And I've mentioned a bunch of times on this channel, this is Japan, you don't have to worry about bike theft. For the most part, if you're deep in the city, you have a bit of a higher risk, but out here in the suburbs, it's pretty safe. There's really no crime. So got this nice mon here, this nice gate, beautiful. Let's check out this temple really quick. And I'm gonna switch the GoPro to the selfie stick mode. So here I am. So all the shrines here usually have a area over there where you can wash your hands. And looks like they got a gravel path here and the stairs. We'll go up the stairs and then we'll go down the gravel path. Kyo no undo. So on our days off, we actually rarely leave the house because we're trying to catch up on editing videos, working on our blogs, and just working on different personal projects. So we tend to get really focused on what we're doing and don't go outside. That's why it's the end of the day and we decided we wanted to get out and was also really excited to test out this camera. So glad we were able to get out before it gets too dark, but We'll get a nice test of the camera with the sort of semi low light settings. We got a statue here. So this says a uh, horse god, pretty interesting. And let's keep going up. I love these little like dog lion statues on the side. It's one thing I wanna get in my house if I ever get a house eventually is have some sort of dragon or lion or dog giant statues on both sides of the driveway. Oh wow, this is actually my first time here during the daylight. I've, I think I've only come here at night. And I also really like these things, these dragon water fountain things here. So it looks like it's not running right now, unfortunately. Very cool. I've lived here all these years and first time coming here in the daylight. Fall leaves in Japanese is called koyo. Here we go, I found some. And let's see how close we can get with the GoPro and the stick. How's that view? So we're behind the sun. Let's try the other side where the sun's coming from over here. How's that look guys? Thumbs up if the GoPro 8 quality looks pretty good. And over here you can see the golden plates on the side of the temple. Really love this architectural design, old school Japanese architecture, really beautiful stuff. Another thing I should mention is this is called Omikuji. So it's kind of like a fortune and you can get yours. You pay for it, you buy it at the temple here and then you can wrap your fortune on here. So lots of different people do that. So we got our nice sunset right here. How's this looking with the camera? That's another upgrade I'm really excited about with this camera is I hear the low light performance is quite better than the older GoPro models. So I've gotten a couple requests on the channel to make some videos of some night cycling in Japan. And I've tried making a few, but the footage has always just been really low quality because I ride in really secluded areas at night where there's no lights or anything. And hopefully we can get some better footage with this. Looks like here we can peek into some of the neighborhoods. And wow, the road goes over here. I have no idea where this goes. I don't wanna go too far away though because we got our bikes waiting for us. But take a peek over here into the Japanese suburbs. Some really nice houses here that we kind of live on the border of a really rich neighborhood. <laughs> Maybe we'll get richer just because we live close to a rich area. So walking down and it's getting a little dark here. So the stabilization gets a little worse as it gets darker, but I'm kind of curious. Let's jump around a bit. So I'm running now. So I'm running with my cycling shoes. I'm really curious to see how stable this is. And who knows, maybe we'll do some running vlogs. And yeah, here's the police station over here. So super tiny, but again, there's no real crime problems. And oh yeah, I didn't think about that as we parked our bikes over here, but we're parked right next to the Koban, so super safe. So this is the Mama Cherry Lock. You just put your key in, twist it, and you're good to go. Bendy da ne. So time to continue on with our short little ride. Ne, kono saki. So I think we're going to continue along this way and go to Benke. Benke wa nan ni? Panja san desu. Panja san. Rice onna janai? Pan to niku areba ok. Ah, niku areba ok. Ok. Ja, soko ni ikokka. Ok, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. So a fun fact about bakeries in Japan. I'm not sure if this is true or not, but I heard that per like person or per area, there's more bakeries in Japan than like 
France. With France, you have the image that there's like French bakeries, but in reality, oh wow, this is really cool. This is one of the things that you notice when you explore a little bit slowly. Look at this, it looks like they make their own pizza here. That's really cool. I love those little surprises when you slow down and explore. So definitely wouldn't notice anything like that if we were just riding normally. But yeah, with um, the French bakeries, you have the image that they're really only popular in France, but bread is actually also really popular in Japan despite it being known as kind of like a rice country. Oh, dog fight. Anyway, here's the bakery here. Let's go in and check it out what we got. This is one of the stations for the maglev train. Benke bread, bread of natural aging. We also got this dude here. That's another cool thing about the bakeries here in Japan or any restaurant or any industry really is just, they always look the part, they have pro uniforms on. So it's the end of the day, a weekday. I don't think there's gonna be too much left, but let's see what we can find. This is one of the more popular items here, the ring bread. Ah, so Chung Chang wants a nice big wiener. <laughs> so they have some really interesting combinations here. So this is like a German sausage with taco meat. And that just sounds too interesting to pass up. So I think we're gonna have to get one of these. Some of the breads here, not too bad. So about 300 yen each on average for all these. So about $3 and not too bad considering how good most of these look. And another one of the really popular breads here is the mentaiko fish egg. And we also got to get our dessert. I'm going to go with this one. And Tuanchan wants the choco banana. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Tonight's dinner. <laughs> Pan, get those star. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the best thing about the mamachari is we can buy our groceries bendi and just ride home nice and comfy this is a japanese drink vending machine by the way pretty much every block they'll have one of these and go home go <laughs> uh, so we're spoiling ourselves today with some nice bread, some nice expensive bread. So it's starting to get pretty dark. We're gonna head home and eat our fresh bread. I've learned the secret to Chung's happiness is to buy her food, so as they always say, happy wife, happy life. And that's our life motto. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and our nice little cycle around and let me know what you guys think about the GoPro Hero 8 quality. And again, I want to give a special thank you to everyone who helped support our channel on Patreon now and everyone who's helped support us in the past. All of your contributions go directly back into the channel. We reinvest all the money that we get from our Patreon support back into the channel to help improve the quality and make better content for you guys. So we really appreciate it. And if you want to help support the channel, go check out our Patreon page. I'll link it down below. There's a couple of nice surprises on there and extra bonus content as well that we'll be adding from now on. So go check it out. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time here on Tiwa Cruise. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.